Floyd Mayweather talks a lot about hard work and dedication, and that has been the root of this light heavyweight contender getting back to a championship fight. We'll see what he does with it here tonight, champ. He's a grinder, John, and you knew that he would get back here. You knew that he would find a way to put himself right back on the verge of becoming the man. He has seen it before. He has done it. He has been here. He recognizes and knows that the changes necessary were done in the gym. He's ready, prepared. He's sure. He knows in his mind that by the end of the night, he's holding championship gold. And there was a time when this division was top heavy. Now the top 15 is absolutely loaded. He has emerged out of that pack. We'll see if he becomes the new champion in the While we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom, but how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. inside the octagon and is ready to fight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> This one just about Wait. to get underway. Wait. All right, here we go with round one action. We'll see how Alex Pereira chooses to proceed. He is going to have the striking advantage against most of the men in this division, and that is likely how he's going to choose to attack tonight. Leg kicks are truly the stuff of legend, and he doesn't throw it full force, just touching that lead leg, and oftentimes all it takes is one to change the complexion of the entire fight. Nice check on the leg kick offering there. All right, so one minute into this fight and not much to dissect in terms of action. You may need to go use the restroom. I mean, like a good time. John, is it time? <laughs> Concession break. I'll be back with a hot dog. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was going to go to that front kick early, and he did not miss with that one, DC. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick. Expect him to keep going here because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. Very good, Bubba Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Pereira. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he's throwing bombs. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Bubba you got this win, 
Roundtree Jr. going for the leg kick. He misses. Round one. Well, that overhand big weapon form throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Lands a nasty body kick. Oh, huge knee! Nice jab. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. shot that he landed. Great job. Keep your hands up, Norman. Come on now. Let's move. Let's take it. Final ball. second to round one. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. All right. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back. This is the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's Great. working. But the Great. other side has to be concerned. Great. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. And the kick lands. Oh, crippling knee to the body. That was perfect. I want more of that. Oh, he needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Oh, nice right here. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off to take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. He clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going. In a ton of trouble right now. Now we landed clean. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Okay. Two minutes to go. Back to the overhead now. That one's good. Lead kick landed there by Padena. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Taking that punch. Oh. Oh, nice right there. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty 
seconds to go. Landed that one. It's amazing, one calf kick can do so much damage, starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, nice jab by Roundtree Jr. Oh, nice. Nice. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice punch, Lynn. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong. avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this house. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it. Oh! That will do it! The Lex Pereira has done it again! Yo, wow! That was nasty! Let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. I mean, I have run out of superlatives when it comes to describing this. Alex Pereira gets it done by knockout tonight. This dude was 3-1 and one when he made his UFC debut. It's crazy. It's so crazy to see how far he's come in such a short period of time. Now, 